Did you know that Mars has a day length of 24 hours and 37 minutes, almost the same as Earth? That means that if you were on Mars, you would experience a similar day and night cycle as on our home planet. But how different would Mars be from Earth in other aspects? And could we ever make it more Earth-like? Welcome to the 24 Guide to Terraforming Mars, where we will explore the fascinating concept of transforming the red planet into a habitable world for humans. Terraforming is the process of altering the environment of a planet to make it more suitable for life. It is one of the most ambitious and visionary ideas in the history of science and engineering. But why would we want to terraform Mars? Well, there are many reasons such as expanding our horizons, ensuring our survival, and satisfying our curiosity. Mars is the most Earth-like planet in our solar system, and it is the closest and easiest to reach with current technology. It also has some resources that could be useful for human settlement, such as water ice, carbon dioxide, and minerals. However, Mars is also a very harsh and hostile place. It has a very thin atmosphere, which means that it has no protection from harmful radiation and meteorites. It also has no liquid water on its surface, which is essential for life as we know it. And it has extreme temperatures, ranging from 143 degrees C at the poles to 35 degrees C at the equator. So how can we change that? How can we make Mars more like Earth? Well, there are many possible methods of terraforming Mars, but they all share a common goal, to increase the atmospheric pressure and temperature of the planet and to create a stable water cycle. Some of the proposed methods are releasing greenhouse gases. This involves using rockets, factories, or microbes to release gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, or ammonia into the Martian atmosphere. These gases would trap heat and warm up the planet, as well as increase the air pressure. Melting the polar ice caps. This involves using mirrors, lasers, or nuclear bombs to melt the frozen water and carbon dioxide at the poles of Mars. This would release more water vapor and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, creating a positive feedback loop that would accelerate the warming process. Importing asteroids or comets. This involves redirecting or crashing large chunks of ice or rock from the outer solar system into Mars. This would add more mass, water, and heat to the planet, as well as create craters that could form lakes or oceans. Building megastructures. This involves constructing giant domes, towers, or satellites that could modify the climate, shield the radiation, or reflect sunlight onto the planet. These structures would provide artificial habitats for humans and plants, as well as enhance the natural processes of terraforming. These methods are not mutually exclusive, and they could be combined or sequenced in different ways to achieve the desired results. However, they are also not easy or cheap, and they would require a lot of time, resources, and cooperation. They also pose ethical, environmental, and political challenges, such as the impact on the native Martian life, if any, the ownership and governance of the planet, and the potential conflicts or wars over its resources, but despite these challenges, there are also many exciting opportunities and benefits of terraforming Mars. Imagine being able to walk on the surface of another world, breathing the air, feeling the sun, and seeing the stars. Imagine being able to explore the ancient history and mysteries of Mars and discover new forms of life or evidence of past civilizations. Imagine being able to create a new home for humanity, a second Earth, a backup plan in case of a global catastrophe, these are some of the reasons why many scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs, and enthusiasts are working hard to make terraforming Mars a reality. And they are making progress. In the last decade, we have seen remarkable achievements in space exploration and technology, such as the landing of the Perseverance rover, the launch of the Starship rocket, and the establishment of the Mars Base Alpha. These are the first steps towards a future where humans will not only visit, but also live and thrive on Mars. If you want to learn more about this amazing topic and stay updated on the latest news and developments, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. We will be posting more videos about space exploration and terraforming, as well as other fascinating and futuristic topics. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.